look right now. Josh, thank you so much, and Duke as well. And not all fans made the trip to Germany. Here in New England, many woke up early this morning to cheer on the team. And that's right. Our Ted Wayman continues our coverage from Boston. It said really not the outcome anybody was hoping for. It was not, Sean. You know, we went to a few of those Patriot watch parties, but at the end of the day, it was a long day for Patriot Nation. I got the hat this year in Oktoberfest, so it came right from Munich. It's my good luck hat. That good luck Bavarian hat did not work on this Sunday in Germany. Back home, early morning fans gathered at Patriot watch parties. In Walpole at a German beer club, they hung the jersey of one-time German board Patriot Sebastian Vollmer for good luck. I am commissioner of Fantasy Football League, and we're all getting together to watch the game. There was little to cheer about for much of this game, unless, of course, you include the German pretzels, bratwurst with sauerkraut, and more German beer that we can show. But in the end, this early Sunday game in Germany ended early for fans, now looking at a 2-8 and eight Patriots team. We're just here to love the team and, and make it work until maybe until next season. It's not looking like playoffs are happening for us. We're used to Super Bowls, but also I lived through the 80s and 90s, so I've got, uh, I can handle it. I can handle the... the the downtimes, because I know they're going to be up again at some point. Even as fans were hoping for a Bailey Zappi impossible comeback at the end of the fourth quarter, watching this loss overseas was tough to take. Oh, that was tough. That hurt. Not much to say after that. It was an early and long day for those Patriot fans. Now with the team at 2-8, and eight, maybe the most positive thing we can take away is that next week is a bye week for the Patriots. Live in Boston, I'm Ted Wayman, WCBB. Please turn it